It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. Hey everyone, welcome back in. Come on in. It's your favorite toy guy here with a spectacular toy that looks like heavy duty weaponry. <laughs> your favorite kind. And as always, before we get rolling, if it's morning where you're at, I always suggest you grab your most delicious favorite beverage, and probably it's coffee. As a matter of fact, sit tight. I got to grab mine. Not coffee. My La Croix water, because it's almost two. And my wife's probably like, I wanted to get the hell out of here. Today's not a work day. And it's not, but I unpacked this, this behemoth. Behemoth. Man, this is probably one of the biggest toys, other than the Atom car. When I say big, man, this is big. But anyway... Stir, clank the coffee, take a sit, rub the Sandman out of your eyes, park your rear in a comfy, cozy chair, because we're going to look at 27 inches, man. This thing is a monster, a freaking monster. You know, I acquired this at a Morphe's auction where they had just loads and loads and loads of ray guns, space guns, long guns, short guns. And I had a Ray Gun Aficionado come and visit, who's writing a book. And I said, you know, I bought all these guns, Ray Guns, toy guns for the YouTube algorithms, which will probably still screw this up. And they've been sitting and sitting and sitting for over a year. And I finally said, screw it. I'm going to figure out a way to display some of this stuff. And uh, this, if I can do it, is going to be sitting at the giant Gosey's robot and his uh, lap, hopefully, you know, because it's so cool. I don't want it to fall and break. But anyway, what do we have here? This is the F500 Fury. And believe it or not, this was sold by freaking Disneyland. <laughs> Before they went full bore communist, right? They actually sold cool weapons when they uh, <laughs> understood boys were boys and girls were girls. They said, we want our boys to be fully equipped to fight the battles of tomorrow. This might um, actually be from the late 50s. And I'll, I'll show you why. I'm not even going to try to move it on here. I'm surprised that I got it perched precariously on here. Let me pick up the camera. Look, look at this here. It says... The deadline for the drawing is January 15th, 1960. Design a toy contest. There's the top of the kind of a cardboard box. So I'm not going to go through a lot of this. And look, the first prize winners will retrieve, yeah, retrieve, receive a free trip to Disneyland for one week for one child and two parents. Wow, they actually were going to let both parents attend. Imagine that. And what if you had two kids? Back then they did cheapskates second prize will receive a personal portable motorola television set i bet it was black and white and not color and the hundred other prizes five silver dollars each that's probably worth more than anything right now the silver dollars probably worth more than a trip to disney today although a trip to disney today probably cost you uh a portable home <laughs> you know and i'm not kidding Anyway, uh, let's go on this side of the box. Service policy. Your new F500 is made of the finest materials, the best possible workmanship. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, you can uh, recondition it with $5. Customer service. Jacksonville, near where I am, except I'm in Florida, not Texas. So, you know, Jacksonville. Whew. This thing takes four freaking D batteries, and it's a cap gun, so you actually probably load it in the uh, the magazine. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wish I had caps, man. This thing was uh, is so beastly. But, you know, the other thing is this thing is freaking spacey. Look at this. It has a freaking rocket for a sight. And then if you look at the details here, Saturn, Space Station... I mean, this is all the classic stuff, a classic rocket, you know, floating. It's so dang cool. And then this drum magazine 
And at first I looked at that, I was like, what the hell is that, a coin slot? Until I realized it was a, um, a uh, cap gun. And then I'm thinking the caps are ejected from there. So I don't have it, like I said, I don't have any caps in there. So I'm going to, once I take this down, it's not going to be posed like that anymore. And the embossing, by the way, this is like embossed. It'll be the same on both sides. It's very cool. And by the way, I think it's pot metal. So as far as quality materials, <laughs> I beg to differ. If this thing cracks, good luck. Pot metal is absolute trash. This is almost like a Bakelite plastic though. So, but look at these screws, you know, nice uh, flathead screws. Anyway, I put the four batteries in here. It is heavy, man. This is not like your normal wimpy kid playing with this. This had to be like a preteen, you know, like probably 12, 13 years old or a teen, young teen. So check it out. And the reason it sounds like that, I'm assuming without looking at this, I didn't even try to open the drum. I'm assuming that this is actually feeding the cap. So there's some kind of motor spinning it around. And speaking of spinning it around, I mean, th this is heavy, heavy metal though. I mean, made heavier with the batteries, obviously. Look at the fluted barrel on here. How cool is that? And look at that close-up of this rocket. That is so damn cool. That could be where you feed, or that could, is that maybe the ejection point of the caps? Who knows? So they're screwed in. I mean, let me look inside. And there, by the way, right above the trigger, it says Jacksonville, Texas. And there's your end. And it's, you know what's funny? It says Nicholas Industries. And isn't that about the time Nicholas Fury came out? I'll do the uh, trigger one more time. Sounds a little choked, right? What's this? Oh, there we go. There, there's the uh, drum release. Now, I would imagine this would have spun, but... Could be lost. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to see. Shows you the arrow feeding the... Uh... It is damn cool, though. I, I only hope that I can get this on the big robot securely, you know, because if it falls, it'd be a shame to break. And if I can't get it securely, I probably won't do it, but it would make a hell of a display. I'm going to pull this out real quick to show you the back side of this. Backed by a service policy. Probably has better, uh, better backing than stuff you see today. 500 shots, super fast firing. By the way, in contusion, I mean conclusion, let's see, uh, here's the Morphe's tag. Furry, five, furry 500. Here's your Nichols Industry, Nicholas Fury. <laughs> you know, that's what I thought of when I first saw this. Oops. Let's put this back. It is very, very brittle. Very brittle. Let's see if I could stand this back up. It would be nice to conclude with a nice beauty shot. I'm tempting fate here, but that's all right. Anyway, that is a look at your F500 Fury by Nichols Industry in Jacksonville, Texas. And you gotta love this emblazoned end behind almost like a marbled glass uh, look or window. So if you like this, uh, leave a remark in the comment and say, I like it. I think it's cool. 27 inches of fury for sure. And uh, either way, I appreciate your time. Also, don't forget to thumb up the video if you like it. And if you're not a subscriber by now, please consider doing so. So the fury doesn't have to convince you. <laughs> And with that, thanks again, my friends. Your time is always appreciated. And I will talk to you later.